Hey kids, how are you doing today? I hope you're having a great Thanksgiving weekend and getting some downtime from school. But this Sunday begins a brand new season in the church. What are you getting ready for at your house? Have you put up your Christmas tree yet or any of your Christmas decorations? No? Well, we're beginning into the season of Advent, which is the time of preparation before Christmas, the birth of Jesus. And so I thought that through our four Sundays of Advent, we would talk about some of the symbols that we use during Advent and Christmas in the sanctuary. So let me bring my slides up for you. All right, the symbols of Christmas. Now, the first symbol that I want to talk about is the Advent wreath. Now, the Advent wreath comes from pagan customs, which were ancient people that lived long before Jesus was born or God first appeared to Abraham. But the survival of these ancient people depended on the success of their crops. So when the days got really short during the shortest day of the year, which is, we kind of call the winter solstice, they would light candles on a wheel in the hopes that the one who controlled the sun would turn the wheel of the Earth's orbit to the sun again, and they would have good crops and warm weather. Now, the church adapted the lighting of candles as a Christian custom. Because scripture tells us that humans were brought into the light of life by the Son of God, Jesus. And it's thought that the very first Advent wreaths were used in people's homes, where a spray of evergreen or a wreath was placed near the fireplace to remind everyone of the everlasting life found in Jesus. Because they would put it in a circle, and the evergreen, the wreath, is a continuous circle. And so that symbolizes for us everlasting life, everlasting life that we have in Jesus. And in the heart of winter, while most of nature was sleeping, the greenery of the wreath symbolized the continuation of life. And over time, the bows of the spray, again, were bent and bound together in a circle for the symbolizing of life. So the wreath that we use today, which is used both in the church and at home, it combines the circle of the evergreens with five candles. Four that are lighted each Sunday of Advent, and one which is lit on Christmas Eve right at the end of our service. And when used in the church, four of the candles are the liturgical colors of the season, which, are, which is purple. Sometimes the third candle is pink. The fifth candle, or the Christ candle, is always white to represent the purity and the holiness of Jesus. Now, the four candles symbolize light out of darkness, and that kind of goes along with the prophet Isaiah's prophecy from Isaiah 9, 2, where it says, The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of darkness, a light has dawned. So Isaiah is predicting the coming of the Messiah or Jesus and that the people before Jesus were kind of living in the dark because they didn't have the light of Christ. But soon, that the, soon we would all see the light of Jesus. And over the years, names and characters have also been given to the candles. Now, the first candle is the candle of hope. It's also called the, pro the prophet's candle. And it symbolizes the hope of Israel for the Messiah and our own hope for the coming again of Jesus in final victory. Now, the second candle is called the candle of peace. And it's also known as the shepherd's candle because the shepherds were pretty peaceful guys. And this candle symbolizes the preparation for the comings, past, present, and future of Jesus and the coming of the shepherds who had been watching their sheep coming to pay homage and worship Jesus. Now the third candle is the candle of joy. It's also known as the angel's candle or Mary's candle. And it symbolizes the joy that the angels spread on the night of Jesus's birth. 
and also the joy that Mary felt in her heart for the baby Jesus. And it symbolizes our own joy at the coming of Christ. Now, the fourth candle is the candle of love, or it's sometimes also called the Magi or the wise men's candle. And it symbolizes God's love for the world and giving his only son to be our savior. See, the, the wise men were not Jewish. They were not from Israel. They were Gentiles like us. And so this is God's love reaching out beyond Israel and showing that Jesus came for everybody. So we have the candle of love. And the fifth candle is the white candle or the Christ candle. And we light that on Christmas Eve at the end of our service to symbolize the light of Jesus, the birth of Jesus, the light of Jesus coming into the world. Now, another symbol we use during Christmas in the Lenten season is a Christmas tree. An evergreen tree is a symbol for lots of reasons. It's green, and again, green reminds us of life. And Jesus told us in John 10, 10, that he came that we might have life and have it abundantly. And God gives us life on earth and everlasting life in heaven. And a pine tree's shape with its pointing top points us to heaven. And when it fills our house with good smells and is covered with ornaments like bells and doves, it reminds us of the joy of the season. And many people put an angel on the top also. Luke 10, in, in Luke chapter 2, verse 10, it says, But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. For today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. So the Christmas tree reminds us of the joy we can have by knowing Jesus. So there's two symbols for you, really kind of three with the ornaments on the tree. We have the Advent wreath, we have the Christmas tree. And again, both of those have the greenery, and the green reminds us of life. The wreath is connected in a circle, it's continuous, so eternal life. The candles, hope, peace, joy, and love. Christ candle. All reminds us of the joy, the joy we have in knowing Jesus. So those are the symbols I want to talk about today. Next week, we'll talk about a few more. Before I go, would you pray with me? Dear God, although the holiday decorations are beautiful, thank you for the natural beauty of evergreen and for your son, Jesus. Amen. Thanks for joining me on this first week of Advent, and I look forward to seeing you next week. And again, we'll talk about some more symbols. So have a great week.